All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it. Pat? Yeah, sure. And your sister's friend, right? Yeah. Come in. Wow. Okay, so Susan tells me that you can um, help me with my problem. It uh, depends on what your challenge is. Okay, um, challenge? Yeah, challenge, issue, problem, anything, whatever that is inconveniencing you. Whatever. Um, okay, so I would like you to do a forensic audit on someone's, you know, social media accounts. Okay. Check out his email account, um, social media footprints, things like that. Is that something you can handle? Of course, that one will do. So what, what do you need? A name. It's easy. So I'm going to give you his name. I'm going to give you his email account, social media. No. And so Just a name. Okay. okay. Thank you. See you same place later today. I will text you my account detail. Oh, let me give you my phone number. Sorry, I have your number already. Okay. Thank okay. you. Um, that is everything your husband ever did on the internet. You know he's my husband. Hey, it's obvious. And apart from that, you are the only woman he ever sent an email to. Man, that guy is a virgin. Huh? He doesn't even have a social media account. No Facebook, no Twitter, no Instagram, nothing. Come on. That guy has no social media footprint. Wow. You mean he found nothing? <laughs> because there's nothing to find. It's, it's, it's a cave man. He never even visited the porn site. Come on, who lives like that? Well, Are we done? Yeah, thank you. It's clean, like super super clean sms's pictures everything instagram i don't know i don't i don't think there's anything to Look, there. that itself is evidence that something is wrong the fact that you couldn't find something means he's hiding something and he's very good at it yes i don't think so maybe i'm just looking for something that's not even there maybe what you need to do is change your tactic Oh, Kelechi, I keep telling you, marriage is hard work. And more than working hard, you need to work smart. You need to find a way to let him reveal his secrets to you. He will, yeah. Oh, look. Found some. Okay, Brad. All right, so let's talk about this one worse than us. Now, let me start by saying this. When I see people that are busy listening to friends about their marriage, I start to wonder... Is it that you are not human enough to make your own decisions? Because the problem about getting advice from somebody that's not even in the position to give you advice is that you really don't know how their heart is. Quite frankly, how are you listening to a single person and then they are here pushing you, uh, he's doing this, he's doing that, and you are, you know, you're succumbing. The thing is this, when you get married, you know, you should walk to make your home like a safe heaven. Because the problem is when you start listening to a lot of all these people, they start putting doubts in your head. Things that may not even be in existence, you will start thinking it. And once you start thinking, you know, the mind could be an ugly place because it can come up with anything that your imagination allows it to come up with. You know, so as you guys can see in that particular movie, the friend is thinking that the husband is pretty much too clean to be real. And even though the lady did something that I wouldn't recommend people do, which is start doing all this underground investigation, because, you know, uh, when you start doing that thing, you are bound to hurt yourself. Because even things that might not mean anything, when it comes up, it will seem like it's something, you know. But in this case, he still told her that her husband was pretty clean, squeaky clean, and that still wasn't enough. She still went back to the same old friend that's been giving rubbish advices. Let me tell you ladies something, you know. And this is not meant for you to abandon your friends or, you know, you know, push your friends away once you get married. But the truth is this. As a single person, there's a different mindset that you would normally have 
And that's understandable because you're single. More so when you're single and not in any serious relationship. So when you get married, you are supposed to have a total recall. Keep in mind that marriage brings two people together. Keep in mind that these two people used to have and lead their separate lives differently, different kind of lives, you know, and they are now coming together to become one, to sync, to start vibing on things that are both familiar and unfamiliar. So there should be definitely room for people to grow, adjust, change, uh, or, you know, make a little here or there variances to how they operate their normal life, daily life. So if you have any doubts about your husband, your wife, your spouse, bring it up. Talk to them about it. Whatever that reason that would have made you go and tell your friend and your friend is like, let's start investigating him. You know, talk to your husband about it. Try to keep your relationship inside. Because once you start taking your relationship out to a third party, you're opening up that relationship for discussion. That's why you see a lot of people when once they bring their relationship to social media, you know, Instagram, you would now hear about all these Instagram in-laws that will now tear them apart. Because, you know, half of the people <laughs> that are on that social media are just there for cruise. So if you want to turn your relationship into a cruise material, everybody will help you, you know. And that's because that's all people do. Amateur opinion on anything and everything, you know. And would you blame them? If you bring it up for them, they would, you know, analyze it for you. Keep your relationships out of third parties because you know in most cases these third parties for one do not know what you have went through in that relationship uh, secondly you know when you are bringing up these issues you are bringing up the bad side in most cases so only you would know the good side of the person but now you are here you know casting the bad side and then what would you expect? Because they're hearing the bad side. So they would advise you based on what they're hearing. So keep your relationships to yourself. You know, if you have problems, communication, communication, communications. If you are the spouse that is being talked to, I want you to take one thing from this. There's something called empathy. Empathy is just a process of you putting yourself in the other person's shoe to see how you would feel if it were you. Once you do this, it's easier for you to understand their point of view. And, you know, if it's something you have to make changes, something you have to, you know, adjust, you know, adjust it. I used to tell ladies this, you know, in a relationship, the man leads. Now, that he is designated to lead doesn't mean that he will be right 100% of the time. In most cases, you will meet a man that always asks for your opinion. That means a lot. Don't abuse it, you know, and give those opinions. But keep in mind that he might still make the decision that's contrary to your opinion. The bottom line is this. Whether he is right or wrong, don't turn around to cast him. You know, yeah, you might be able to put it in a better way. Ha, ah, baby, see, if we had done this the other way, this would have turned out right or turned out better or, you know, made us more money or, you know, not lose us so much money, whatever the case may be. And if it's not something that's financial, then, of course, you know, uh, you guys can look at it from that perspective. But the thing is this, you know, he leads and the leadership is not meant to be a threat to you, you know, because there's a lot of ladies that, you know, when he says, oh, let's do this this way, you know, they'll get upset. Like, are you now telling me what to do? 
really you know why is it why does he have to get there he's leading the family forward you know so you know try not to be contradicting try not to be making it look like um you know he's doing something bad just by trying to direct the organization or the direction that the family is taking you know another thing i want to add here is this once friction comes in in a relationship especially you know i'm talking about marriage here because you know uh, or at least committed relationships here because those are the ones that matter you know if you're just you know hanging out with somebody it doesn't matter if you listen to them or not you probably don't even have serious interest but you know serious relationships here you know once you start creating friction with your partner things are never really the same and as much as you might think is nothing it shifts the dynamics especially when it comes to progress of both the individuals and the family as a unit try to work out these things out with your man you know with your woman with you know, Try to work these things out and let you guys be in sync. It's always good to have a happy home. Because, <laughs> hey, ask those that don't have it. You will see there's a difference and you will be wishing that yours remained on a good side. Because once you break down this family unit, sometimes putting it back together is hard. That dynamic, dynamics that you guys used to have. And sometimes putting it back is a lot hard. Try to keep your issues, you know, away from third parties. They usually never help. Uh, in most cases, they give advice that, you know, you don't even know if they're giving with clean heart. And even if they're giving it with a clean heart, they might not even know what they're saying. Because they are not in your situation. They are not wearing your shoes. And that's it for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios. And I'm here to deliver sense.